Hey guys, Mr. J here. Welcome back to another Frostborn video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys the best solo base design. I mean, you have other good base design here, but I think I actually like this design here. You know, it have a little bit of creative feel to it. Um, you guys might like it. Some guys might not like it, but you guys can definitely follow here. I did make a little bit of changes and all that. Um, so I'll show you guys, you know, how to make this base design here. All right, so I do have here, you know, some trees planted, you know, to exit the base here. You know, a little bit of creative design. The base is going to look way more better once it's at like level three. Once it's fully at level three, then it will look way better. And once I do get these things here created. Um, so let me just go to the middle here. I'm going to start for the middle. All right, so you have the, you have a, um, a two by two um, base area here. As you can see, I'm already like, fully stoned out here by doing the northern zone of course you can do the northern zone a bunch to get a lot of maples to then upgrade your base you know it's gonna take a while but eventually i think maybe in a month you should be at a good distance you know i've just like started a couple of days ago and i did you know pause a little bit but that's upset from the point here all right so let's go in, into the creative mode right here all right so as you can see here we do have a door at the entrance right here and I mean, you could, it's, you know, it's not really an entrance, you know, it's an exit or entrance you choose. So you have a door right there. You have the four, the two by that's in the middle here. So you can count to find the middle and you will definitely put it, just put the walls in the middle. Or what you could do is you could put the wall right beside the vault right here, put a wall and then you could create that, you know, two by two um, room. All right, so as you can see here, we also have this section here. So it's a, you know, it's a simple design here. So you have this section, then you have this section here. And as you can see here, place two chests, one chest right here, other chest to the side. You want to kind of spread the chests out a little bit. Um, I mean, you could cluster all the chests within one area, most definitely. I mean, you kind of choose, you could just use this layout here and then choose how you'd like to position your base and what resources go where i mean i'm technically organized but you know once i get more resources more armor and stuff i'll definitely put more valuable stuff within this wall here because you know this is the most difficult wall to reach um, once you have all your design around the base um but you could choose where you could put different stuff i mean when persons radio they typically go for the middle so i don't think the middle would be like a very good idea but if they cannot reach the middle usually they'll stop stop at this section here and start looting or maybe they'll loot the first chest we don't know you know what people are thinking during raids but all right so this section here we have this section here the vault section i do have a tree here so this is like you don't have to do it that way but i choose to put a tree right here um for no reason just for design purposes um then we have chests here i mean some of the chests are definitely empty but that's beside from the point all right so we're gonna have a other section here so we have a wall here um we don't have enough doors but once you do have more doors um gain access to you know once you upgrade the district a little bit more 280 plus we'll get more doors from the architect so we'll definitely also fix a lot of stuff here to get some more exit points you know to be morally free going around the base here but we do have like a wall here it's kind of dead end type thing so a dead end right here just to kind of you know spread to have a fortified base to kind of be harder to get raided in um during raids but you're also going to be able to defend your base of course um but these are basically dead end so you don't want to like if you're fighting someone you don't want to technically go in these walls here i mean you could you could um just to heal or something then you pop out back do some damage that's okay all right so let me just continue here all right so this is the middle section here so you can you know take a screenshot or you can look at it um, so there's a door right here, a door, and another door right here. You could put the door, you could change this door, put it right over here. Um, it doesn't matter where you put the door, though. You could put the door, then you could 
um, just to keep in mind, you cannot put two doors on one floor. Just to keep that in mind. So you could just put a door right here if that's what you want. Then you could put a door right here and put a dead end. Like a wall, just a wall right here. Um, so yeah, you can exit the vault. You can enter the vault, of course. Exit. And, you know, go through here, through here. So this would be the exit. And I'm going to show you guys here, you know, within the building section here. Let me show you guys. All right. So this is the middle section. Then you're going to have section here, you know, put a wall, right? A door right there, of course, a wall right there. Then you just build a wall going all around. Put a door at the side here. So the reason why the door is at the side, let me go show you guys something here. So if the door was, it would be kind of confusing if it's right here, because then you won't know where to put uh, this other door. You know, it would be kind of confusing. You'd have to probably put the door over here and then put a wall right here. So I think it would be way more better to like have the door right there, another door right here, then you put another door right here. Um, then, you know, more doors exit the location here. And this section here would be for these workbenches here. So, you know, the log storage, the meat storage, and the dryer here, the campfires, and also the mine inside. And you can also have these here. These are basically, they give you extra storage within these storages. Um, yeah, it gives you extra storages to, you know, for the workers to basically fill these up. Well, let's go back to the crafting menu here. All right, so you can, this is a simple design here. So you have an arch. So after you create this intersection, right? The intersection here, you'd have a arch. You create an arch right here, a simple arch. Then, you know, you go straight down straight down right here then you create another arch so once you create this arch right over this section here just duplicate that to the other section and add the door not right here but add the door right here and you do it for um each four section here so you can look at this design here you now once you make the first wall inner wall then another wall another wall then you create this pattern here so you use this pattern right here you do the same thing right for this section here same thing for this section here and the same thing for this section here you know keep the door placement um this like right over here the thing for that let me show you guys an example here so during the raise right you just turn the corner and boom what a person could do is and it would the hammer might miss if they use a hammer for instance but if it's like straight down here, they could just quickly just, you know, throw that hammer straight down the pipe and that could hit you within the door section. And it, who knows, maybe you'll, they'll just have access to the other room here. So it would be kind of tricky, you know, to like, if you're running pretty fast, go here, boom, it closes, you know, pretty fast. And this section here, we do have the war benches also. So we have two war benches here. So the, the goal is to put, um, once I do a lot, little bit more farming in the Northern zone, the goal would be to, um, once I get iron bars and they would be placed in these chests right here. And once I get wooden, um, they would be placed here. So, you know, a quick access to a chest that would kind of save time and stuff. Not a lot of time, but a little bit of time, which counts. And we also have these board benches here. Same thing for these chests. You know, it's it's not a thing that's mandatory that you have to follow. I mean, you could set it up how you want it to set up, but let me just show you guys the rest of the design here. So as I said before, right, the same thing here with this section here, you know, duplicate this design here for the section. And then the edge section here. So you're going to put walls. You might be wondering, where do you put the, the door placements, right? As you can see here, I did put the door placements at each arch. So one right there, one right there, one right there, one right here, one right here, one right here, one right here. So if you're also wondering what's the district level to have all these doors unlocked, let me go show you guys the district level um, that I'm currently at pretty fast here.
All right, so the district level at 56. Technically not at 56. I think it's 55 or 54 that you do gain access to, you know, another level of the architect. So that's, you know, put it at approximately 56, but it's technically not 56. But once you are at that level, you'd be able to have all these walls here. So it's not like you got to have max walls, but I'll definitely make a video once I get the max walls, how the base would look the update on the base and so after you've made these section here right this little room here you could take a screenshot or you could pause the video here that's how the corners would look that's how the corners would look and after you've done the section here it's about it you know it's a honeycomb style after so you just put walls all the way down across all the way down across and ensure that you do leave a section here for your storages and you know your campfires and your dryers all that so this section here would be the horse the horse stable and then i put you know some just for design here i put four um trees here you don't have to actually do, do this you could just floor this section out if you want or you could put the pool um right at this section here um so four um yeah, so four maple trees I did plant here. Also, we have the farm right here. I'm kind of dying here. Let me eat some real quick. Dying from hunger. <laughs> Gotta get some food. All right, so after you've made the section here, then after, you know, you've made the section, you got to block off this section here. Just, you know, for them not to have like a full 360 of your base. So that's why I placed these walls here you know down the line right here so it's connected to the middle section going down so this section here a wall then a door a wall then a door a wall and yeah all right so this cannot be blocked up because these walls are basically in the way so um the thing is right you got to have a door at a room so if there is a room you have to have a door right so this is a room technically this is a whole room we have a door right here i think we will be able to make a wall right here i'm not sure but let me check and nope won't be still won't be able to make a wall section here because it's already blocked off there so yeah um let me see oh yeah so a wall should be here let me see all right this is already blocked off i'm bad all right so this is already blocked off here and also the section here so no wall can be entered here um if you're only thing could be put here is you know a door and as you can see here it's the max limit of doors that i have is 32 so i'd have to upgrade the district a little bit more to gain more access to more doors to be able to place more doors of course and yep yeah, i think that should be it for the video here so i'm just going to show you guys a quick you know tour again you know how the base looks so you could pause the video and you could look and hopefully this video does help you know so let me show you guys here All right, hope that video helps. Definitely smash like, smash subscribe. Appreciate y'all for watching the video. Hopefully this design is helpful. You can let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Appreciate y'all and peace.